Hello and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a solo game. Uh, it is the perfect game for playing at work, while you're watching TV, on the go. It has a very small footprint. Uh, that game, of course, is Friday. No, 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 not, not that Friday. Friday! No, not, not that Friday. Jeez. Friday. Yes. Friday. The idea of the game is that you are helping uh, Robinson Crusoe on an island, and you start off weak with a deck of terrible, terrible cards. Uh, most of your cards are fighting cards that actually give you negatives, uh, weaknesses, and you go through a deck of challenge cards. Each challenge card has a minimum number of strength points that you need to match with your fighting cards in order to beat it. You don't always want to beat it though. If you can't defeat the challenge card, you have to pay health. But for every health that you pay, you can remove one of the crappy cards from your hand. So that negative one card that's just hurting you, you can pay one life to just get rid of it. Take it out of your deck. However, if you beat the challenge card, you flip it upside down, and it now becomes a fighting card. You play through three rounds, uh, yeah, a green, a yellow, and a red, culminating in a battle against two pirates. If you can defeat the pirates, Robinson Crusoe gets off the island. I will say one thing, the game is, is very fun. Uh, I really enjoy it. I've literally never beaten this game. I, I don't know what it is about solo games where they feel like, oh, if you're playing against yourself, it's gotta be impossible. Um, I, people say the same thing. Uh, if you look over my shoulder, you will see where I'm pointing Death Angel. Uh, that's another one that is nearly impossible. Um, Hostage Negotiator, another one that I'm going to do a review on soon. Very, very challenging. I get it. If you're going to play a solo game, you don't want it to be like super easy, but I've never beaten Friday. I don't know how to beat Friday, but the weird thing is I, I really enjoy getting my butt kicked. It's fun. Um, I do get a little closer each time. I get a little closer to those pirates. The mechanic of paying life points to delete cards out of your hand is a clever one. I actually kind of enjoy that. Um, but you're also racing against time. Those phase cards, the green, yellow, and red, those will change every time you loop again through the challenges. There is a time constraint in this game, and if your deck isn't powerful enough, you will lose. You will run out of health points. Uh, this is why there are certain cards that are advantageous, even though they don't give you any strength to fight the challenges. They might give you life, and oh, it's precious. Oh, your life points. It seems like you, you start off with 20. It seems like so many. 20 life points. No. No. That is nothing. Uh, when you're fighting a challenge card that has say a yellow has a challenge of seven or nine and you have no cards in your hand because you frittered away the whole green phase you're screwed um but if you can beat them the more powerful the card the better they are when they're flipped upside down and that's going to help you in the future to be honest i play this game a lot i uh, i play it at work in my downtime i've never even gotten to the pirates <laughs> Uh, so I can't tell you what the pirate battles are like, but just looking at the cards, there are some that seem very easy and there are some that are impossible. Like, I can't even get to that boss, let alone, how in the heck would I beat that? But, again, I have a lot of fun. The other thing about the game that's kind of cool is, uh, like I said, it's good for travel, it's good for work. It has a very small footprint. There are three tiles, one for each deck. That's it. I mean, you're going to put your cards in front of the, the decks, but that's it. It takes up minimal space. I mean, honestly, your three cards, your deck of cards, and your life points, that's it. That's all that comes in the game. One of the mechanics that I don't really care for in the game, uh, I feel like it's thematically appropriate, but it's too much. Uh, as I said, every time you loop through the challenge cards, you enter a new phase from the green to the red, the yellow to the red. But every time you loop through your combat cards, you age. And the age cards are brutal. 
Um, they can be minus two, minus four to your combat. Um, they can make it so you can't draw any more cards that round. And they get added to your deck very quickly in the beginning. Uh, now you can remove them, the same as you would pay, this time you have to pay two life instead of one to remove that kind of card from your deck. But man, it adds up fast. That said, it's, I get it, Robinson Crusoe's on the island for a very long time. Uh, the game is supposed to be his entire time on the island, not just, you know, a week. So I get the aging, and if you get too far, there are actually advanced age cards where those are brutal. They will destroy you. So I've actually never gotten that far. I'm, I always run out of health, but still, I can't stress enough just how far I cannot get in this game. But don't let that deter you. Uh, I, again, I really enjoy this game. It's a whole lot of fun. It's got a very small footprint, and it's a great solo game. I, I yearn for a good solo game. Um, I can't always get a gaming group together. Um, I work weird hours. I work late. So sometimes I'm in the middle of the night. I have all these board games behind me. Nobody to play them with because it's 3 in the morning. And I'm like, well, now he's asleep. Uh, no, they're asleep. No, she's no, she's asleep. Hey, I can play a solo game. I can bust out Friday. I can bust out Death Angel, Hostage Negotiator, Tiny Epic Galaxies, uh, Flip City. I can even bust out bigger games at home. Uh, we all know that I have Zombicide. I have Gears of War, the board game. I have plenty of big games that can go solo, but none that can travel and come to work with me like these little box games. And that has a lot of value to me. So yeah, guys, that's that's actually it. I know this has been a short review, but it's it's a very simple game. Um, it's fun. It's, there's, it's simple, it's fun, it's easy to learn. The rules can be a little confusing at first because there's a whole thing where you place the challenge card and all of the cards that you draw for that card go to the left and all of the cards that you draw after that, you can pay life to draw more cards if you don't have enough, go to the right. And I was like, why? What's, what is the difference between the right and the left? Well, there are some cards that will affect that and you'll learn that throughout gameplay. But other than that, the rules are simple to learn. It's a quick pick up and play. And it's a good way to kill time by yourself. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review for Friday. I hope you check it out. It is a very cheap game. It can be bought on Amazon for less than $15. I would imagine your friendly local game store has it cheaper. Um, yeah, check it out. It's a fun time. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out my website, thecrankyoldgamer.com. Uh, tell me what kind of things you guys want to see on there. I throw my videos on there. I try to put pictures of gaming sessions from my night game nights. Uh, any kind of errata like news, I've been putting... I, I made a custom Zombicide character. Some of you guys may know that I'm a very big Elder Scrolls fan, so I got bored one night in the middle of the night and made the Dova Keaton for Zombicide. Put his character card up there. Anyway... If you guys like my channel, you want to see me grow, please also check out my Patreon. There's a link at the end of the video. The Cranky Old Gamer. Every little bit helps. And check out my Instagram, The Cranky Old Gamer. Pretty easy to remember, right? All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Friday. We'll see you later.